What's up, muscle car people? This is Bringing Muscle Cars, and I'm Matt. Today, we're bringing you tool cart modifications for 2021. You can see, we already have the ultimate tool cart, but we're gonna make it even better today. Let's review some of the mods that we've already done. The first mod, if you have a regular tool cart, you should do is put four swivel casters on it. I will say, having four swivel casters on it does not work as well when you have the side cabinet on it. You probably need two straight ones then, two fixed ones. So that's an old one, but a good one. Also, I don't know if you'd call this modification, but it does make some things easier. You know, you get these clips at Harbor Freight, so you can hang your funnels and miscellaneous stuff off from them. I did install a jack holder. This goes in my race car trailer, so I keep my jack there. It just makes it easier. I know people are like, ah, oh, well that's stupid. Why are you putting it on there? That's why people pay attention. That's why we got the jack holder on the side and it works quite well. It's very solid, works great. And you come over here, you can see we've installed the side cabinet. You need to back up a little bit, get the whole thing in. We have a video, I'll link that video down below on how to install the side cabinet. I'm not gonna lie, it's the best one on YouTube, pretty much because it's actually the only one on YouTube, which makes it the best. So I show you how to do that, which is a pretty big mod. I know a lot of people do it, it's not super hard. People complain because I squared it up in the back and had the front sticking out. A lot of people want the front square sticking out the back. You can do it whichever way. I'm putting it against a wall in my trailer, so I want it flush in the back. And Jared is complaining about how heavy the camera is already. Come on, man. And then, of course, we got these stickums on the side. Not really much of a mod, but the magnet stuff works pretty good. This one, I think, is custom-made. I custom-made this one. So, that's the one that normally bolts up to the other side. Custom-made that. You can steal my design. I'm okay with that. Did just get this nifty magnet that matches, but it, I used it one time and the powder coating is coming off. Kind of disappointed there. New mod that they just came out with, which I'll show you. This one is pretty simple. It's going to black out all of those. So let me open this. The part number on these are 57233. I think I paid $10 for these, so it's not really that bad of a deal. Now, you, you, now they just have to make them for the side cabinet too. So we'll install these real quick. Got a nice little protective coating on them. Oh man. Why well, we have YouTube? Why is it too long? Why is it too long, people? Oh, Alright, they're yeah. on. And they all need to be trimmed. I was not really expecting that. You'd think they would know how long their toolboxes are. Next thing, we have this plug in here. It kind of sucks, looks crappy. So we got a new mod for you. We are going to install. Bam, this is what we're gonna install. And guess where we're gonna do it? Right here. Yep, that's where we're gonna do it. So. If you want to know what this is, got it off from Amazon. It's actually a desk plug-in. So just search desk extension cord, desk old charger, something like that. And it should come in. It should come up. So I had to buy a big old hole saw for this. What? Yeah. How else are you going to drill a hole? So they have these 
in square, rectangle, all the different sizes. But honestly, it's just easier to drill a hole, so I got the round one. What? We're drilling a hole right now? We're drilling a hole right now. Oh, yeah. Don't try this at home, folks. Yeah. yeah. You know, other than you just flung metal everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Right. All right, so we put that through. Square that up. So, all right. Bam! Now we're charging stuff. We can charge our tools. We can even shut. You know, we might be able, might have to move these over here. Bam! We can charge it, and we don't have to worry about people stealing our tools. We can also charge our phone, our lights, anything that charges off uh, uh, USB. But another thing I wanted to point out were these magnets that I got from Cobalt. They still have them, uh, depending on the store you go to. They were either they will either be Cobalt or Craftsman, but these are very nice. They're very strong. Uh, I like them a lot. You can close the door and everything, and they don't fall off. All right, next mod I haven't done, but you could do if you want to. If you don't have to worry about people getting in your toolbox and you don't lock it, you can actually cut these off. So then you can open up the drawers with the top down. Just a little reference, because when this is pushed down, it locks it. Yes. Question from the audience. Yes. Do you worry about people getting into your toolbox? Yes. Because mm -hmm. stuff is missing. Jared. It's always Jared. Hmm. All right. I got one more mod. So I run into the problem. I was going to do it on camera, but now I don't know where everything is. But... <clears throat> You can drill these holes out because you don't have to keep them the same size what they come because some of these tools fit in the bigger ones. They won't fit on this side because it's... It will fit in the bigger ones, but then they won't fit in the smaller ones. But there's more than enough room where you can drill those out. Take a step drill and make them a larger hole and then you're going to have a lot more flexibility with what you can put in there. Like this, can't fit that in that hole right there. If it was a bit bigger, I could. But it fits in this one. All right guys, that's it for now. We will have a major modification coming to this tool cart. I will say it's not a normal tool cart mod. It is, this is already the ultimate tool cart. That's gonna make it the supreme tool cart. It's gonna make it, you know, next level. So stay tuned for that. Check out Tool Tuesday. Every Tuesday we got cool tool reviews. If you're like me and you're cheap, you buy gear drive, not gear wrench. Uh, you buy gear drive, not gear wrench, because you're cheap. The, these are the best buy on Amazon. So hit that like button if you like this video. If you found it entertaining at all, helpful anything hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the awesome updates and if you're like us and you got fast cars you better bring it thanks for watching guys all right guys thanks for watching i'm gonna link a couple videos well i'm gonna link a video on this side right here right under the s550 that you probably will like and i'm gonna link a playlist for something similar to what you just watched right here, please click one of those. Click that subscribe button because we need as many subscribers as possible to keep bringing you this awesome content. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more action.